You know? Uh, our guest uh, in this segment here, Jennifer Smith, and uh, Jennifer is uh, the Economic Development Coordinator and Director for Berkeley County. Uh, Jen, good to see you. Nice to see you as well. Again? Yes. Twice <laughs> in a week or so. Because <laughs> you're also, of course, Thank the president Thank you for having me Record. back. Yeah. Yes. And uh, you brought not just Leslie with you, but food. I did. <laughs> Two, right? And uh, we brought some cinnamon rolls, and I believe they're from the <laughs> Hedgesville um, Home Economics Teacher. Oh, nice. So. She's retired now, but yes. Leslie Gant, good morning to you. Come on closer to your microphone, Leslie, so we can hear you. Yeah. So yeah, uh, there's that's a, the cinnamon roll complete with the, uh, the, the the frosting on top there. Was that like cream cheese kind of thing? Mm. Mm. I, doesn't say. Uh, just classic cinnamon bun, uh, whipped cream, uh, whipping cream, milk, sugar, butter, eggs, all the different ingredients. So. Very, all yeah. all of those are listed, <laughs> I mean, uh, unlike what you left out with right. Mama I, Miller's Cherry Delight. That's yeah. right. There might be a hint of something the in there that's something. not. Yeah, I said I can't compete with um, Mama Miller. But, uh, <laughs> what you do is you take some of the cinnamon roll, you get a scoop of Mama Miller's Cherry Delight. Oh, there you put go. Put that on top. That's it's a win-win. food coma that's to follow. Right <laughs> and I think Bill said he's going to go and nap when this is all, all said and done here, too. So anyway, thank you, Leslie Gant. Good to see you. Thank you for coming in. Thank you. Appreciate the gift of food as well. Thank you for having us. Yeah, uh, Jen, I know you've got a, a whole a bunch of stuff you want to address here before we get along uh, uh, too far in this. Uh, I do. But uh, talk to me about when you took over as the uh, economic development director for Berkeley County. Yes, I um, took over as of October of last year, so I've been in the role uh, officially uh, an entire year. And they succeeded Sandy Hamilton. Yes, I did. All right. Were you on the job when CMC Metals made their announcement of moving to the area? Yes. Okay. Were you? Uh, did you get a chance to be involved in some of that as well? Yes, I did. Um, you know, the state was really actively involved in that, um, but I was there helping them through processes as well with, you know, the. Um, Department of Highways and um, Engineering and Planning and things like that. Okay, and what's the latest with that? What's the status of their groundbreaking and such? So they are moving ground um, now. Um, they are working on um, their on their website. If you'd like to um, visit, they do have. They are currently hiring, so they do have um, an option. Also, to, if you're a contractor as well, to sign up to be a contractor. Mm-hmm. So. Um, you know, they plan on hiring about 235 individuals. The pay is about 76000 um, wow. So, So very high wages, um, a great company to work with. And, you know, we're working um, with the county on there will be some improvements to the road in the future mm-hmm. as well. And, you know, they've been a good partner in that. Well, they... Is there a plan of making like a turning lane there or middle turning lane or something on 11 or putting a light to buy where the entrance to that plant will be or what? Well, I, I do know that um, the property, there is the water department or yeah. um, there's a property in between that was purchased um, for their access road. So that will be a new access road into that. Right now it's just a green space. Mm-hmm. Okay, very good. Uh, what other news do you have on, uh, I know you guys never allowed to release the names of anyone you're talking mm-hmm. to or recruiting into the area or whatever, but how, how active is that process right now? Um, we are working on many active projects currently. I will say I think, you know, I have 20 in the works, um, whether it's, you know, um, helping out with planning engineering to finding land to, um, you know, finding existing building space as well. Um, one that we just announced was a company, um, Treplar. Um, it's a Turkish company, and they are located um, now in one of the Heinz buildings. They um, are ma- – they are – plastic film manufacturer they make the biodegradable trays so if you go to the grocery store and get the um the trays um that your meat comes in the chicken the hamburger Mm -hmm. they will be um making that um right here in martinsburg i think i even have they're going to be producing 360 million biodegradable trays per year so they currently already have contracts with um Walmart, for example, um, and many of the suppliers, the meat suppliers as well. So that's a huge addition um, to Berkeley County, and um, when, they're, they're already... Um, when are they opening? So they're already opening. Okay. Um, they're currently going to have their second line, I think, installed this month. They will have, I think, 10 lines by the time they're done with 600 full-time employees. Do we have enough people in Berkeley County to do those jobs? <laughs> well, so 
location is key, and we also have the ability to recruit from multiple other states as well. Sure. And, you know, one of the things that we're doing and recruiting, and we're trying to get, you know, keep West Virginia talent mm -hmm. in West Virginia. Great. So we work really closely with WVU and Marshall as well, as well as Shepherd University right here. Um, but um, recently we just had a busload of STEM students from WVU. They came in um, last week and toured, you know, PNG and Rockwell as well as Clorox. Um, and then the, at the end we did have a reception for them and there was multiple other companies in Berkeley County that were able to meet with those students, mm -hmm. um, you know, because keeping the West Virginia talent in, sure. in West Virginia is important. And what will these folks be paying? Or what are they paying? Any idea? So they will be above the minimum wage. Okay. Matt Miller. When you look at all of the development that has been taking place through the years here, does that help to attract other business when they see what's already going on? It does. I, I do think that... Um, P&G really put us on the map um, for sure, but I think location has a, a huge, you know, part of why individuals want to locate here. We're within um, a day's drive of, or a four-hour drive of 70% of the population, so that's that's huge. Um, and you know, Berkeley County is a business-friendly state or a bit uh, a friendly county, mm -hmm. so um, you know. We're easy to work with, and you know, we're like I said, location, location, location. So. Really? With um, working with the all these new businesses, you, had, you said you had twenty that you're currently looking at, um, and and being part of the development authority, do you also work with um, trying to figure out how uh, how we handle the the large amount of people that would be influxing into the county to be able to work in these places? Absolutely. Yeah, because uh, it's the roads, the the housing, the water, um, everything that comes along with the increased population. Um, takes its toll it it really does um and and you know that's that's important to us as well but i will say in, in part of that 20 all of them are not new businesses some of them are existing businesses looking to expand um but you know talking about infrastructure one of the things that i did want to mention is i'm working on a tiff as um, tax increment financing and um, the county commission um, we've been working on that for I, I feel like over a year now but um, they did recently approve it was September the 7th they just approved two resolutions um, we will have a north TIF and a south TIF um, and so with the TIF increment it's basically um, whatever the tax assessment was in um, the previous year because taxes are a year behind so in 2021 um, the taxes will go to whatever entity as um, they would have but um, any increment following that will then basically go into a different bucket that mm -hmm. we can then use for infrastructure and that's roads sewer water schools um, and all of that money will then go into a different bucket which will then be up to the county commission mm -hmm. um, to use those funds so um, we don't have any residential in the TIF um, currently you know um, we felt like it was also important that we wanted to make sure the schools were whole as well mm -hmm. so in our applications we did put in there th that um, they will have to provide us some information so if they would be losing any increment that they would have been receiving that increment then will then come out of the TIF bucket um, directly back to them. <laughs> I know in the, within the county we seem to have these, I know it's been a question of mine, I'm sure other people, these long concrete structures that are being built on the north end and south end right along the interstates as you're driving down. You're seeing these, are, are some of the, are these, is this a business that people are looking to move into? Um, so the company that I just mentioned, Treplar, mm -hmm. they are in, um, they're currently taking, that's the Heinz buildings on Route 11. There's the three buildings right next to the airport. Um, yes. They are occupying one of those buildings currently. Okay, because there's a good many there. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who occupies the huge one north on 11? So no one currently. That is the Red Rock facility. Um, but somebody will soon. Somebody will soon. <laughs> you seem to know something. <laughs> <rest of laughs> no, she's, I, not, she's not re re revealing that. No, I, I do know that. You know, we do get a lot of interest. Um, 
and in many different spaces. So it's always, you know, top mm -hmm. priority to make sure that the existing spaces aren't sitting there. And Leslie, what's your role in all this? You've been quiet for way too long over there. <laughs> so I work with existing businesses for business retention and expansion, mm -hmm. and I connect them to any kind of workforce training that they need, or we work, like Jennifer said, we work closely with WVU, Blue Ridge Community College, and other technical colleges within the area to help connect the businesses to the workforce they need. So do you go to Blue Ridge and, and say, we need this specific kind of training on these kind of machines, and they develop a curriculum around it? Come over closer to your microphone, the, too. The businesses me. can do that, and I give... I will give the businesses the contacts that they need oh, I see. with Blue Ridge okay. for that. And, yes, I do work closely with some of the ladies at Blue Ridge. Very nice. Uh, I know there's some things on your checklist you wanted to make sure you got a chance to address. Jen, Absolutely. So go right ahead. One of the things that I wanted to mention, and um, another reason why I – brought Leslie along with me as um, the Development Authority is working on a program. It's the Build Up Berkeley program, and it's something where entrepreneurs, they are in a, a pitch competition. Um, we do have 10 uh, entrepreneurs currently competing where they're going through classes, and the classes have, you know, experts in their field teaching, um, you know, whether it's legal, we had a CPA, we have um, marketing, um, banking, HR. Um, there's a lot of different things where you could be great at whatever, whatever you do for your business, but there's a lot of things that go with business. So, you know, we're they're getting valuable information as in an education process as they go through the process. They are also um, developing a business plan as well, which is required for the competition. The competition will be on November the 2nd, which will be an, a live event. Um, so everyone is able to come. It will be at the Apollo starting um, at, at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. And it is open to the public. 6 p.m. November 2. Mm -hmm. Yes. And what time do you think it will conclude? So that's a good question. Um, I would, I'm imagining, you know, a couple of hours. Um, we, like I said, we do have 10 contestants currently, and I'd love for all of them to continue with the competition and compete. Um, they will be um, giving their pitch on stage that night. Um, and, you know, I just want to also thank you to uh, give a thank you to our sponsors as well. Um, CNB Bank was a huge platinum sponsor, um, and without them, we wouldn't be able to um, do this. The grand prize winner will get $10,000 for their business. Wow. Um, we're also giving um, other prizes as, uh, away as well. There's a people's pick that's going on right now where you could go on to the website and you can um, pick for your individual businesses. Like I said, we do have 10 um, businesses, we have Cloud9, Cloud9 Events, Goldfinch Tea House, Gorilla Sales, Indigo Garden School, Next Level Auto Detailing, Oakwood Barbecue Company, Rockcliffe Productions, Shuggy Max LLC, Sustainable Sand Solutions, and the Dandiest Life LLC. So all of those are um, competing, um, and, you know, I just want to... How did you select the competitors? Well, so we do have a panel of judges as well. So we have a lot of volunteers helping with our um, um, program. They did have to submit a, they had to submit a pitch, uh, a video pitch of themselves um, along with a short little questionnaire. And then um, the, the pitches were then evaluated by the judges. Um, we did have 32 that, um, submitted a, a video and then there were um we were selecting we did select 11 there was one um unfortunately that did um did not continue but we we currently have 10 so like i said they did submit a 30 mm -hmm. second pitch and then they were selected by that now are these already existing businesses that are looking to expand or are these fresh ideas that they're looking to get started or both um both okay Yes. This sounds to me like a Berkeley County version of Shark Tank, right? Yeah, there They're going to yeah. present yeah. Their, their pitch, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I think that, you know, I, the amount of small businesses and what they, they make up West Virginia. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we always work with a lot of the bigger manufacturers and things like that. And we, as a development authority, I felt like needed to help the smaller entrepreneurs as well. And, you know, capital is really hard to get for mm -hmm. a small entrepreneur. 
Um, so this is a perfect opportunity, as well as they're coming out with all the education, mm-hmm. um, which is um, a huge benefit to them, as well as they're going to get a um, college credit as well. Right. Um, we're working really closely with Blue Ridge, um, so mm-hmm. you will get college. The, the um, participants will get college credit. You may have just answered the question I wrote down a moment ago. Size of business is what I wrote. So you'll work with any size business to help them get started here in the county. Absolutely. Yes. So uh, go ahead, Bill. I'm sorry. No, go I was going to say, um, you, know, uh, you said the um, presentation is November 2nd. Yes. What time was that? Six o'clock. Six o'clock. And At the Apollo. I think you picked a great venue uh, for the historic Apollo Theater there. They've done actually a lot of re- uh, mm-hmm. renovation there just as you come in the front door. So you yes. picked a great venue. It, it is um, beautiful in there. So, Leslie, you were talking about um, retention. Can you kind of expand upon that about what you do for businesses? and for ret- I, mean, I know for trying to retain employees and keep them there. but It's also to re- help retain the businesses as well, to help them thrive in the community through the resources that we provide with workforce training, any kind of incentives that they're eligible for through the state or county. So we have um, like the Learn and Earn grant. Mm -hmm. We also have the Governor's Guaranteed, which are available to employers Mm -hmm. that they will then be able, um, you know, to get access to funding to help do the training. Um, and all of these things are stackable, so it definitely helps. Um, it, it definitely helps the employers as well. So th- this would be available to small businesses that they could apply to be able to get part of these grants. There are some. I'd like for you to send them our way, and we will definitely work with them. How would they be able to get in touch with you? So, Rob would always ask us anyway. So I figure so, I'd beat him to the punch. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're welcome to provide my info or my email is jsmith at developmentauthority.com and you, you can have them send me an email and or even call our office. Um, all right, my cell phone is three three zero four six seven one two two five one. Good stuff. So. Hey, you mentioned uh, interest rates. So how difficult of an environment is it right now for a small business to get a loan or a business of any size? And if you can get it, can you afford the payments with the rates the way they are? <laughs> interest rates are um, pretty high at the moment I like the way um, you think before you answer <laughs> I do foresee them coming down mm-hmm. in the future um, and but you know I, I think the interest rates um, they went down after 2010 so I think even before that we're we're kind of holding steady at what we were mm-hmm. so um, this I don't want to say is the new norm, but... Is, has it been a hindrance to business recruiting, or is it just the cost of doing business now? I, I think it's the cost of doing business. I think everything is increasing. Um, you know, building supplies um, is is definitely increasing. Um, but, you know, that's why, you know, we like to help the businesses, and if there's additional ways that we can help through, you know, workforce development grants or other grants that we can help them locate, then that's what we're here for. When there is a large company recruited to Berkeley County, there's a big announcement. Yes. And deservedly so. When you recruit smaller companies to Berkeley County, do you do that as well? If someone wants to open up a 10-person shop in Berkeley County, does that go through you, or is that another economic arm that deals with smaller businesses? Well, I I will say all businesses don't have to come through the Development Authority. Um, Most of them do if they want, you know, some type of assistance or – um, things like that, you know, we do recommend um, being a part of the chamber, and the chamber does do all ribbon cuttings and things like that as well. So we're huge supporters of the Berkeley County um, Chamber as well. But you do most of the larger ones, right? Yes. Right. So what would what, is there a number as to when you're starting to think about going through the BCDA as opposed to not fifty, a hundred? No. Doesn't matter. No, I'm going to say it doesn't matter. I'm going to say if they want to contact us, we will make sure that they get the resources that they need. How much land is still available down by Tabler Station Road for development? So currently the Berkeley County Development Authority owns about 29 acres on one side and then 20 on the other. So there's about, I guess, 50 or so um, right there. It's more for commercial, but there's some... Um, behind the Heinz 
Um, those are the three buildings that I mentioned on Route 11. Um, there's about 122 acres currently back there. Enough. Mm. About a minute left. Yeah, yeah, I just want to ask, how, how much of the incoming business is a case where uh, a large company is looking and Berkeley County becomes on the list and they reach out to you, or how much of it is you hearing of companies and, and seeing, hey, we're looking for some place, and you reach out to them? I, I think it's a little of both, and a lot of it actually comes from the state. Um, you know, there are, you know, individuals that work for the state that are focused on individual, um, you know, different segment segments um, where they're, um, like the company that we were just working with are a Turkish company. Um, and, you know, we have, I, I think it's a mix, so it's, it's a little bit of everything. Okay. Uh, hang out. We've got about a final minute coming up. 